Good morning, everybody. This is Wednesday Moment of Destiny with Pastor Adebo. Coming your way right now, around the world, wherever you may be listening to me. Good morning to you, wherever you may be. What a wonderful day we are today. This is the second week of the month of June. And on this wonderful day, we want to start by giving thanks to God. We serve a God that does not, that is faithful, is does not sleep nor slumber. We want to thank Him. We want to appreciate Him. Wherever you are, you the best day to start your day is to start with Thanksgiving. Let's appreciate God for what He has done for us and what He has done for you. Let's appreciate Him together. Lift up your voice and give Him thanks. So that we thank you for. The fact that we live with slave to walk, you thou God has sustained us. Thank you for your sustaining power. Thank you for helping us stay another day. Glory be to your name. Amen. Now I want you to know at this moment, uh, this is Wednesday, and this week is a very unique week for me and for this ministry. And we this week is our week of anniversary. This was the week that the ministry began uh, 15, 15 years ago. And today we're in two locations, here in London and Washington, D.C. We are grateful to God for that. Uh, on, by, on by the mercy of God, we have become two bands. And we want to give thanks to God. We want to appreciate Him. We want to let Him know that we are grateful. He is the Lord of the work. <clears throat> we are just doing the work of the Lord, but He is the Lord of the work. So join me to give thanks to God for what he has done by joining us online on Friday, this Friday, uh, by 7 p.m. UK time, uh, which is 2 p.m. Washington DC time, uh, on Zoom 530-377-8530. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because I know the kind of God we serve. We are coming to come and bless him, to come and praise him. And so that we can give us a fresh direction on the vision that he has given to us. And I believe the same thing for you. My, 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 my understanding of God is that everyone is born with a destiny. There is no one that came to this world without a purpose and destiny that God has for them. Because life without a purpose is a life without a bearing. Because vision is the fuel for enthusiasm. I wanted to know that uh, the visionlessness or lack of purpose, purposeless, purposelessness or lack of understanding of destiny is the root of suicide tendencies. The bankruptcy of vision is the abundance of depression. And that is why it's very critical to know the reason why you are alive and that is what we call vision. What is vision? Vision is literally revelation of God's will for a person. Adventure on the earth. We call it the opening of the eyes of for the will of God to be revealed to a person. That's what we call vision. The moment you assess the will of God for your life and begin to run it, it's called vision. Now, this is what we call about destiny. This vision and destiny, that's what destiny is about. Destiny is about the agenda, the authority of God planned for your life. And again, access to that plan, what we call vision. So, we're celebrating uh, vision. We're celebrating the hand of God in revealing His purpose to us. And we saw, uh, like, we saw, the, we saw the kind of thing that, um, uh, uh, Dave, um, that happened with, 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 with Jacob. Uh, he was left alone. He was left alone and... What was he left alone for? In Genesis 32, verse 24, he was left alone so that he can discover the destiny he was born with. Now, Jacob was, he was, he was born, the day he was born, Israel was born, awaiting his discovery. So, until you discover the reason why you are born, you will be living somebody else's life. Until he discover that he was actually meant to live a life as Israel. It was living as Jacob. So until you discover the purpose of God for your life, you are living somebody else's life. And that's why you, I'm saying to all of us here, that the Lord said to me, everyone is born with a destiny. You are born with a destiny. Don't die with it. 
And that is why on this place we always say that you are born with a destiny, you must learn to discover it, you develop it and deploy it, or you must find it, follow it, and fulfill it. So I want to encourage you to ask God to reveal to you His purpose for your life. So they can have an encounter with destiny. And we saw Jacob was born as just like every other child, just like the way I was born. But that was not his destiny. His destiny was that of Israel. So the physical Israel today was born out of an encounter with God. So without an encounter with God, you will not have access to the destiny you are born with. That is why we are actually praying, connecting this week, that God will supply his help by his spirit for you to assess his purpose for your life. Let's pray. The Bible says, call upon me and I will show you great and mighty things. There's a man to pray, there's a God to show. Let me go to pray, Lord, reveal your purpose for me. And if God has revealed his purpose for you, you need continuous direction for that purpose to be able to produce his content. You got destination is vision. Day-to-day runnings of how that vision will run is direction. That's why we need that. Let's pray right now. Say, Lord, give me a vision and direction for my life. I don't want to live a, a visionless life. I don't want to live a meaningless life. I want to live a life that has meaning, a life that has direction, a life that has bearing, a life that, that is put on a path of fulfillment. Lord, help me to discover your purpose for my life. Help me not to live a wasted life. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. For that you are not born again, this prayer after me, Lord Jesus, I come to you right now, forgive me my sins. I accept as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for my soul. In Jesus' name, amen. Please join us today. I'll be running a, 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 a pre-convention broadcast by 8 p.m. on Facebook. 8 p.m. UK time on Facebook, which is 3 p.m. Washington, D.C. time. Don't miss it. It will be a life-changing time and encounter with you. The Lord sent a word into Jacob and it lighted upon Israel. Come and receive the light that will release your destiny. God bless you. See you there. But that is on Adi Bottomio Ministries page. Adi Bottomio Ministries page or Recovery Community Services page. Connect with us and also on Destiny Monday TV. Connect with us on YouTube. And I see you there. Don't forget this week weekend is our convention. I'm inviting you to join us Friday on Zoom. Uh, I've told us the Zoom link and Saturday on site in church. You have more details. God bless you. Bye-bye.